Good day, madam. My name is Zhao Minghui. Good day, dear Brian Irma. My name is Er Shen Hui. Good morning, madam. My name is Han Xuexuan. Good morning, madam. I'm Yap Zichuan from Shishuan Group 2. Today, I would like to present my group assignment with my group members, which are Zhao Minghui, Er Shen Hui, and Han Xuexuan. This is our question for this assignment. Our question is solve the initial given problem. Y double prime plus Y prime minus 2Y equal to 2X, which the initial value given is Y0 equal to 0, Y prime 0 equal to 1. Our method to solve this question is undetermined coefficient method, and the second method is Laplace transform. And now I will pass the presentation to my group members. Good morning, madam. My name is Han. So now I will explain the solutions for this equation by using the method one, which is the under the my coefficients. So the first step, we need to change these equations into this so we can get m squared plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 and we need to find out the roots of this equation and we will get 1 and minus 2 and these two roots are different so we can know that this is the real and distinct state and based on the table 2.1 we can get the equations yhx is equal to aex plus b minus 2x and based on these equations we also can get the fx is equal to 2x and based on the table 2.2 we can get the yps is equal to a1x plus a0 and after that we need to differentiate these equations twice and we will get a1 and 0 After we done of the state, now we can substituting the 1, 2, and 3 equations into the original equations and we will get a1 minus 2a1x minus 2a0 is equal to 2x and now we need to comparing the like terms on both sides means the x is compared to the x so we can get the a1 is equal to minus 1 and a0 is equal to negative 1 per 2. After that, we can substitute the value of a1 and a0 we find just now into the equations 1. So we can get the yPx. To find the yx, we need to add the yhx plus the yPx. So we can get the final equations, which is the aex plus be minus 2x minus x minus 1 per 2. In these cases, we are giving the initial value. So we need to substitute the value inside the equations and get the real value. So after we uh, substitute, we can get A is equal to 1 per 2 minus B. So that's all for me. I will pass it to Shen Hui to explain the next step. Thank you. We get AEX minus 2BE negative 2X minus 1. Then we substitute the initial values of Y prime 0 is equal to 1 into the equation we got just now to get our values of A and B. For A, we get 1, and for B, we get negative 1 over 2. Then we substitute the values of A and B back into Yx to get our final value of Ex minus 1 over 2, E negative 2x minus x minus 1 over 2. For our second method we use is the Laplace transform. So first, we need to change the format of it to the S domain. So for Y double prime, we change it to S squared Ys minus Sy0 minus y prime 0 and for y prime we change it to sys minus y0 and for negative 2y we change it to negative 2ys then lastly we need to let place 2x here we write it as 2t then we substitute the initial values back into the equation here to get the value of s square ys minus 1 plus sys minus 2ys is equal to 2 over s squared my name is Zhao Minghui and I will proceed for the method 2. We need to solve this equation in order to get the ys. And because this form is quadratic equation, so we can factorize it into s plus 2 times s minus 1 times s squared. We need to find the yt now because we have find out the ys. So we need to do the inverse Laplace transform for ys but we cannot simply to calculate it so we can use the partial fractions and therefore we divide it into three parts and we have four unknown a b c and d for the denominator we have s squared s 
plus 2 and s minus 1. We can expand this equation into this form. And how we can find the a, b, c, and d? We can assume s equal to 0. When s equal to 0, a s will become 0, b s will become 0, b times 2 times negative 1 will become negative 2b, and c times s will become 0, d times s will become 0 also. And therefore, the equation, the final equation is like that 2 equal to negative 2b, so the final answer for b is negative 1. We can follow the same step using to find out the C, D, and A. So this is the final answer for C, D. For A, we can substitute inside S equal to 2 and substitute the value that we have calculated before B, C, and D inside. So the final answer of A is negative 1 over 2. Next, when we find out the A, B, C, D, we can substitute back it inside the inverse Laplace transform for the y-s and therefore how to find out the inverse Laplace for y-s we can refer for the table of Laplace transform and apply for the rule for inverse Laplace transform so the final answer for y-t is exponent t minus 1 over 2 exponent negative 2t minus t minus 1 over 2 in this case, we can conclude the method 1 and method 2, we can get the same answer. So, the second order differential equation, we can determine by using the undetermined coefficient and Laplace transform. That's all from us. Thank you very much for watching this.